Hi, my name is Carl St. Jess, licensed acupuncturist, holistic healthcare provider, <laughs> and just wanted to speak briefly on the concept of liver chi as, oh, sorry, liver chi stagnation as we know it from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective. Now, this is one of the, uh, this is a, a topic I've not um, covered over the last couple months. It's been more anatomic, uh, anatomy, physiology, bioscience based. And I want to switch it up just a little bit. And my background is in traditional Chinese medicine with, uh, and, and, and I don't want to, there is no, no emphasis. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and my background is a combination of Eastern and Western medicine, right? And it helps patients. So what is liver chi stagnation? Liver chi stagnation. You... You know what it is. I should say you should you've experienced some of the symptoms, but you may not have known that it's liver chi stagnation. And so as a as a practitioner, it's my job to look at the symptoms that you're presenting and come up with a diagnosis. And and this is a common diagnosis. First off, I want to give thanks to the and I, I don't want to uh, mess. I don't want to uh, mess up his name in pronunciation, right? Uh, but Giovanni Macchiosha, right? And he wrote this book, Foundations of Chinese Medicine. I've been using this ever since I was a, a student. It's a state board book. Meaning that it's 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 one of the books they require for our state board exam, and I want to put this out there: the difference between someone out there uh, spreading misinformation on YouTube or any other video platform. One, they may not be a licensed healthcare pra practitioner. You may agree with acupuncture. You may not agree. Where the case may be, the state agrees and has set laws and regulations in order for patients to receive treatment and for people to practice and offer medical services. Right? You can't just open up shop here and say, yes, I'm a healthcare provider, right? So there has to be reason behind that there has to be some type of uh, system some type of science some type of logic behind what we do and even as acupuncturists we have our our area of consensus we have our body of science we have practice we have practitioners of with generations of experience so we can always have a a, a a sense of reference. There's empirical data in China and scientific scientific data all uh, published all over PubMed. So we have a, a frame of reference that we can go back to and say, okay, we all agree, right? As far as this misinformation, it, there's a lot of baseless claims out there, and I didn't. And and I really want to get the record straight and, and let you know about all this mumbo jumbo. Uh, I've been in practice for over nine years. I have two degrees, and I I come from a bio uh, science. I want to say more of a science Western thinking, analytical precision thinking type of mind. I actually grew up uh, loving computer games and and learning how to program in in basic, sorry, Q basic and C and C plus plus. And didn't master assembly. Didn't uh, I wish I would uh, would have dove in more, and ex and, and utilized uh, or learn more and, and whatnot. But I utilize a lot of, of my computer technical skills in my acupuncture practice and in learning and in analyzing things. So 
ain't no dummy here. <laughs> you know, and, and I think part of it is is also, you know, yeah, you know, that we have a base. It's it, it's it's you know, so look at what what we're talking about. This liberty stagnation. It's it's uh some, so what are the symptoms? So, one, we don't say it's your liver. Right? It's not your liver in particular. I'm not talking about the lab results you get that are going to say, okay. I'm not talking about the anatomical, physiological aspect. However, there are some symptoms from the liver chi stagnation diagnosis that do correlate to how we see our liver from a... Uh, what, how our liver works, right, from a science point of view, right, a science perspective. Liver chi stagnation includes symptoms such as uh, an oppression or having sinking feelings. Let me start with, uh, firstly, let me start with moodiness, right, or changes and fluctuations in your attitude or, uh, or, um, in your mood, right, and how you're feeling, it can affect both men and women equally. Now, there are certain other aspects that uh, may present, for instance, in uh, it can affect menstruation in terms of, I deal with a lot of female pa patients uh, in terms of uh, dealing with either dysmenorrhea uh, or any or irregular uh, periods, uh, irregular times, and if anything, it's um, you know it's part of the process. It's it's the whole package, right? In terms of trying to see what's going on. So, looking at it from that end, right? You have uh, a couple different things that can, like right? so, you have. The emotional side, you have the physiological side. Um, as far as the um, feeling of stuffiness in the chest, uh, liver chi stagnation can it, it is a lot of the times associated with the movement. Um, sorry, uh, associated more with emotional issues which have built up right? chronic emotional issues and what that does is with the chi we say the chi and you hear liver chi you hear chi and used in various ways in Chinese medicine and it's just an energy and liver chi is just a different type of energy just like it as you have cells in your body you have different types of cells right? uh, you have different uh, cells in your immune system as opposed to the cells in your blood as opposed to the cells in your nervous system so we have different types of chi and this liver chi is moving throughout the body and if it doesn't move as it's supposed to it can get congested and stuck in one place and it's just a never-ending cycle right that's all right uh, and even it's associated with feelings of hopelessness, uh, feelings of depression, uh, aimlessness. Uh, we treat a lot of issues uh, and, and, and deal with a lot of mental health through this aspect of chi stagnation from a Chinese medicine diagnosis and standpoint. So this, when you have this liver chi stagnation, the chi is responsible if you think about blood blood is always always moving in traditional chinese medicine we, we say the chi is responsible for moving the blood if the chi doesn't move the blood then what happens it, it, it you impair the circulation so from a traditional chinese medicine standpoint when you have chi stagnation you're also going to have some some type of blood stagnation which can manifest clinically. And so you're wondering, well, is it, what, what truth is there to this? This is what people are presenting. I'm not just babbling, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. right. No, this is how, when, when a patient comes in and they're presenting their symptoms, 
you know, you look at certain things. Uh, for instance, uh, as an acupuncturist, we'll utilize the tongue and the pulse in order to really assess a patient. And in biomedicine, we do you do do some type of visual inspection. We call it observation when you're completing a soap note, which is a subjective objective assessment and planning. And when you look at a patient, you may assess their facial color. You may assess their tongue color, which if maybe some, if, if someone looks like they're blue, they may not be getting enough oxygen. Or if, if their face is bruised and maybe, you know, look like they got, they were attacked or, or got into in some kind of fight or, or experienced some type of trauma. So the body's going to show that and we can explain that by impairment of the circulation, there's inflammation, there's, uh, you know, there's injury to the veins and, or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, right? There's dilation or vasodi vasoconstriction or vasodilation or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Gotta have some fun, right? So, you know, we, we can look at the body and make certain, uh, we can extrapolate certain uh, assumptions, right? Uh, you know, it's the only assumption to be tested, right? Uh, you can... It, gather some information just by that was the word gather information f by observing a patient and comparing their symptoms and looking at that and 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 so when you look at this traditional chinese medicine is a very com is a complete med system of medicine it has a diagnosis it has a treatment our treatment regimen consists of acupuncture and herbs and and, and consultation in terms of diet and lifestyle and nutrition and putting it all together and so how do we treat this liver chi stagnation clinically okay let's say a patient is is presenting these symptoms and it can be it can manifest in emotionally or in the body uh, a liver chi stagnation a lot of times it can other uh, affect other organs right so this this idea of isolation is 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 not really uh, I want to say practical because once one part of the body is is impaired another part can ha can become impaired for instance if you have issues with your heart then your lungs can be impaired and then you have pulmonary problems or you have kidney problems or whatever the case may be, may be. I don't wish you any problems however when we understand the body better it makes it easier so we have this liver chi stagnation that's affecting the body it's presenting and it's manifesting itself so it can also affect the heart it can also affect the digestive system it can also affect the lungs you get so angry, right, and upset, and you feel like everything's uh, congealed. I think this is a good um, image of of liver chi stagnation, right? You, you hold everything in, and it's a it's a good representation of how the emotions can injure the body. And there's a lot of diagnoses in 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 biomed that relate to this liver chi stagnation such as fibromyalgia right um or uh, more i don't want to say if you want to get specific something like ibs is more uh, liver overacting on the spleen right on the digestive issue we say there's an imbalance however that's still related to this kind of liver this liver chi disharmony and I wrote a post on my website, it should be there, uh, and explaining liver chi and understanding what liver chi represents and how it manifests in the body. And if this chi is not circulating correctly, then you get this 
liver chi stagnation. And we say the chi is always moving, the energy is always moving, it never stops. Same thing as in physics. You know, you got these particles that are always moving, right? And uh, it, it just won't stop. <laughs> so I'm putting this out there because I want, we want, we want civilization to run with it, right? You want someone to run with it. Uh, you know, the person who laid the bricks down for us yesterday, right, years back, 100 years back, 50 years back, 25, 200, 300 years back, they laid the foundation and we can run with it. And, and, and the creation and distribution and education and knowledge of this medicine combined with integrative uh, with science and, and biomed and, and everything, we take it and we help people and we run with it, become better in humanity, right? I say, uh, trust me, during this lockdown, there's been a lot of liberty stagnation. If this video, if you're watching this video after the pandemic has um, dissipated, and no matter what time period it is, this liberty stagnation can affect us all the time. It was affecting us before. Uh, this uh, the pandemic will affect us after uh, liver chi stagnation uh, as you can see uh, definitely during the pandemic shoop, gone up right so if you understand more about the body you can find more ways to take care of things oh and what are some simple ways until you can see a practitioner I don't recommend anybody treating yourself for any of any diagnosis unless you've seen a licensed healthcare provider, right? Specifically, if, if you're dealing with traditional Chinese medicine or any issues, here in the state of California, acupuncturists are considered uh, primary care providers, right? That's a very important thing, and I uh, treat every patient the best I can, the best I can, with, uh, with as much knowledge as possible. So, and, and that's important because knowing Right. For instance, when you can't treat something, when you need to refer out, is this an emergency? Right. You want to be able to understand that. So, as a healthcare provider, I advise that you don't treat yourself. Right. Uh, sorry, that you don't that you um, seek a, a medical attention first before even attempting to treat yourself. Right. But. Uh, these are some techniques I will tell you in general, right, that, uh, uh, so, not even but, that, that. In general, uh, I use points, uh, this LI point, this is the most easiest, uh, the, the, uh, point that everybody uses for headaches, and this is actually on the large intestine meridian, we call it LI4, Hergu. I did a YouTube video about it a while ago. However, uh, this point is great for releasing the mind and relaxing things. And when you relax, you, cre you create a more conducive healing environment so that your body can let the chi flow freely. That's the, that's the responsibility of the liver, right? Or liver chi in Chinese medicine. So, you want... Focus on this point and breathing. And it's not like you're, you have to do anything painful. You just massage the point so that the muscle relaxes. That's what I tell people. Just massage it lightly so that you can loosen up the muscle. And then breathing helps the liver, right? Or helps the liver cheat. And also, I want to, maybe I'll do another video about meditation and the possibilities of, right, the breathing aspect helping the liver we'll get into that but meditation is good for liver chi stagnation in terms of relaxing the shoulders and breathing in and breathing out and letting the body find its own rhythm in terms of relaxation so 
if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an, uh, an email, mailbox at the mo- uh, sorry, <laughs> mailbox at csjacupuncture.com. I have my podcast, the Mind Body Dude. Dot com if you'd like to listen to that uh, it's more a little bit of a clinical perspective outside the clinic uh hit you know cool stuff you know do it yeah <laughs> and uh i wish you the best stay safe always here to help and provide my insight right not only insight but research backed insight you even have my anatomy book here ah uh, see all that fun stuff what kind of pictures so should not show that <laughs> uh copyright pic- uh, issues and all that so please have a great great week and i will speak with you soon